Welcome to the vlog on this wet and rainy evening here in London. So you might be asking yourself why am I filming if the conditions are so miserable tonight and to be honest with you, I'm asking myself the same. No, jokes aside, the reason I decided to go out photographing tonight is because Regent Street invited me. Yeah, the people that run the street and do all the behind the scenes and the social media and they asked me if I would be keen to join them again to go to the top of a rooftop to photograph the Christmas lights, which is an amazing opportunity. It was one of my highlights photographically last year, but back then I didn't have a vlog yet. So this year around, at least I get to share that with you via my YouTube channel, which is exciting. And um, I've actually made a video about this rooftop before. If you go to my channel and scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see it. This was back in summer when um, they had some art installation and flags uh, draped across the streets. But the angels are way more spectacular and the Christmas lights are just so much more beautiful than daytime flags. So I can't wait to photograph that and of course to show you too. Let's head over to Regent Street and see what the hype is all about. Tell you a bit about this rooftop. So it's owned by Regent Street and unfortunately it's not open to the public. So in terms of photography recommendation, not the greatest place to advise you to go because it's just not available to you. But I thought I'd show it to you on this vlog anyway. And now um, it's a bit of a shame it's not publicly available because it's not a rooftop restaurant or bar or anything. So you can see there's like scaffolding going on here and a lot of pipes and ventilation shafts and stuff like that. So not the most hospitable place, but the views are incredible. So without further ado, let's head over there and I'll show you guys what I've been up to. So choice of lens today is the 18mm wide angle lens and thank god it's weather sealed because it's raining pretty hard and the weather sealing really helps to keep your camera interior dry and stop it from breaking in the elements which is fantastic and the reason I chose the wide angle lens is pretty self-explanatory look how uh, grand Oxford Circus is from all, from all the way up here try to capture as much as possible and um, the main subject of course being these beautiful Christmas lights over here and then adding some extra buses in as they're driving across the crossing for that extra London feel so that's the idea in my head and uh, so far really happy with my results despite the rain uh, not making this for easy conditions but um, you have to adapt as a photographer and not uh, complain about what you have to deal with so let's go check out these photos <laughs> show you guys Regent Street because that's the main highlight of tonight. They got the angels spread across the um, street and the view from the top is simply spectacular. So can't wait to show you that with you guys and get you involved. Don't mind him. That's just anyway, let's go check out Regent Street and this view is seriously spectacular. I was actually invited um, by Regent Street to attend the opening but at the time I was in Copenhagen which was a bit of a shame. I know first world problems but um, during the opening they actually had beautiful fireworks that um, erupted at the end of the street with the angels being lit up during a ceremony and just looked incredible. I really had huge FOMO that I couldn't attend that. But um, fortunately enough they were kind enough to let me come back so thanks Regent Street for having me and that's what this evening is all about. Just to grab these uh, photos and to have that opportunity at last and I'm so glad I got to come here and take that opportunity up and catch these beautiful lights. How incredible is this view? You can see as far as the London Eye all the way back here. But I'm not really interested in photographing the London Eye. These angels on the other hand, look how stunning that looks. Got all the buses and traffic running down the bottom of the road. Using a tripod because it's night photography of course, so it just helps to keep your photo stable. Also when you're bracketing it's nice to keep all the compositions the same when you uh, exposure blend later in Lightroom and Photoshop. And again I've been using the wide angle lens. And that was 
35 mm lens. What did you think of that shot compared to the much wider 80 mm lens I had just on just before? Let me know in the comments below. And then for the final shots of tonight, I'm gonna quickly change over to 85 mm lens and then knock out the telephoto lens shots, which is gonna be epic too. Um, the 85 mm lens is in a telephoto range compared to the other two, which are considered wide angle lenses, which means we can probably bring the back end of the street a lot closer into the lens and then compress those angels. shooting back on the street and um, the weather gods just decided that now is the perfect time for it to stop raining just my luck so it doesn't matter I think we made the most of the rain anyway and got some amazing shots tonight that I'm really happy with and I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this journey and sticking all the way through to the end of the video I'm not gonna tell you whether you should like comment and subscribe because you your own person you know what you got to do or not to totally up to you and uh, I guess I might see you in a future video but bye, bye for now Oh, my God.